Hello, Gonblock Gaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get dominant style shadows from your movable light in the Unreal Development Kit. So what we're first going to do is we're going to go to View, Browser Windows, and Actor Classes. And then we're going to drop down Lights and Point Lights. And as you can see, we've got Dominant, Point Light, Point Light, Point Light Movable, and Point Light Toggleable. And the first one which we're going to be looking at is the Dominant Point Light. And we're going to put the Dominant Point Light in the scene and make it a bit larger so its effects are more noticeable and as you can see we've got very black very accurate and rather nice looking shadows that cast onto other objects in the editor but the downside to using a dominant directional light is it's not exactly that efficient and you can't have them move during the scene through matinee or anything like that so you're pretty much stuck with the shadows that you've got with a dominant directional light and that isn't ideal for all situations so what we've got to do to get our lights movable and a little bit better running is we've got to go to our actor classes and we've got to get our point light movable instead so what we're going to do is we're going to add a point light movable to the scene make it a bit higher and a bit bigger so that we can see its lack of effects and as you can see there are no shadows being casted by anything there's pretty much standard um, lighting on our um, objects as in sides which aren't facing the light are black and sides which are are slightly more lit up but of course that's not what we want because we wanted very accurate shadows from our light so what we're going to do is we're going to right click the point light movable and we're going to go into its properties and what we're going to do is we're going to put into the search shadow and we're going to move our mouse all the way down to light shadow modulate now the modulate is the default setting and it is a lot better for performance but it doesn't cast proper shadows only a bit of ambient collision that we can see on the ground around the meshes but that's no use to us so what we're going to do is we're going to go to light shadow modulate and drop down and we're going to change it to be a light shadow normal and as you can see we have got very sharp dominant like lights casting from our point light but that's not really enough in the most circumstances so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a minimum shadow resolution of 256 a maximum shadow resolution of 512 and a shadow fade resolution of 512 and that should result in your shadows having more soft edges and looking a little bit nicer now of course it's not purpose it's not perfect for all purposes but you can experiment yourself once you've um once you've tried the tutorial and changing the shadow filter quality doesn't really change all that much so I just leave it at low most of the time and that is pretty much how you get dominant directional light shadows onto a normal scene into using a light a point light movable in the UDK but of course there's another issue that many people will run into and if we bring up our actor window and turn it into a content browser I'm going to place a swing set that is an interp actor into the scene and as you can see it is casting normal shadows and that's very fine by us but if we move it into the shadow of another object we will find that it's not that its shadow is not really up to scratch it'll either be completely dark or completely light and that's not really what we want at all so what we're going to do is we are going to right click our interpreter factor and then we are going to type pre into the search and at the very bottom we'll have use pre-computed shadows and you're going to want this ticked and as you can see we now have proper shadowing on our interp actor not just binary black or unlit style shadows but there we are now we've got a point light mostly acting like a dominant directional light or a dominant point light or a dominant spotlight I really hope that you found this tutorial useful if you've got any questions leave them in the comments all of these static meshes are created by me for a future project which I'm doing and no you can't have them I'm sorry about that and I hope that you found this useful please like subscribe forget it do what you want and I hope that you found it useful again thank you and see you next time